Making things thinner and lighter has been standard procedure in the tech game for years, and it's not all that exciting anymore when it comes to smartphones. Laptops, though? That's another story. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is a quick look at the new lightest laptop I've used, the LG Gram. Now, half of you may be wondering if you're having memory problems, so let me put your mind at ease. Yes, I've covered a laptop called the LG Gram before. It's the one that stayed ultra-light, no matter how much praise I heaped upon it. The one that endured countless tosses down to the down to the to the floor. So this is one of the newer models, and when LG sent it to me late last year, it took the opportunity to bump the specs some. An 8th generation Intel Core i7, to be specific. But you know... The i5 on the older model was plenty speedy for my tastes. It's the practical improvements on the newer one that have me smiling, like the built-in fingerprint sensor and the touch layer atop the display. Those features only sweeten an already tempting pot for a guy who's always on the road. See, I'm fresh off a review of the Huawei MateBook X Pro, and before that, the Surface Book 2. Both very capable machines, but they're also beefy in a bag. Well, the Gram is featherweight. I said in my review of the previous model that all a salesperson should have to do is put this machine in a customer's hands. Basically, it'll sell itself from that point. And it still manages to cram in a 60-watt-hour battery. That same capacity gave the previous model endurance that I called ridiculously, no, outrageously good. Almost 13 hours of use at one point. I haven't been able to put the improved version to a proper endurance test, but I should mention that there's actually a still newer model than the one I have, which ups the battery to 72 watt hours and moves the fingerprint sensor to the power button. And there's a bunch of 15 inch variants Windows Central has reviewed, but I haven't touched those. My point with this quick look is just to remind everyone that there's another option out there for a laptop you can legitimately forget is in your bag. Lest you think this is some kind of puff piece, I must also remind you of the downsides. The speakers on this thing are bad, producing some of the thinnest, flattest sound around. The hinge is a terrible place to put a camera if you care at all what you look like on a video conference. The trackpad is not as large or comfortable as I'd like, and a sleek and light machine like this deserves better than this clunky, bulky charger, which looks like something from 20 years ago. If you have a USB charger lying around with some chutzpah, you can charge via the USB-C port, too. Let's let those ports lead us through the rest of the upsides on our way out the door. You get every form of I.O. you could reasonably expect on a small machine, including a micro SD card slot, which makes this a great notebook for viewing drone footage out in the field. And the magnesium frame means that even if you drop it in the process, it'll probably come home in working condition anyway. It don't push it, though. As the older Graham discovered when my laptop rack literally fell off the wall, the lightweight casing won't handle everything you throw at it. The 13Z975 is tough to find on Amazon these days, but the updated 980 model is there, where it ranges from $1,200 to $1,400, depending on processor. That's a crowded price point, where you'll find laptops from Dell, HP, and Asus, some of which have features like reversible screens. But they're all at least 25% heavier than the Gram. So if you're serious enough about putting mobility first that you want the lightest Windows laptop you can find, or at least the lightest one I've ever tested, and you're willing to put up with the same bad camera placement that got Huawei the stink eye in my last review, add the LG Gram to your list of considerations. This video was brought to you by Thrifter. Thrifter is a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Keep in mind, folks, this was just a quick look, not a proper review. For that, head on over to Windows Central, which has tons of deep dives on machines heavy and small, large and light. Until next time, thanks for watching. And stay mobile, my friends.